I'm gonna walk you guys through how to install a single story downspout. The first thing you need to do is get your header measurement. That is gonna be the measurement that takes your pipe to the wall. So that's from your overhang to the wall. This one is a little different. It's not going to a wall per se, but let's say this was your wall here and you wanted to bring this pipe that way. You would get your measurement from there to the end of the outlet. We have 13 and a half. And then you're gonna to wanna to take that measurement and subtract nine. So 13 and a half, subtract nine gives us four and a half. The reason we subtract nine is most three by three pipes, or elbows, when you put them together, you get nine inches of space. So once you cut that one with your subtracted nine, you'll get your 13 and a half. So we'll cut three and a half off of this. Mark three and a half. I'll go a little longer just because I'm gonna trim it. And you can cut most aluminum downspouts just with a utility knife. That's how I like to do it. After you've got that cut, clean it up with some snips just to get your rough cut nice and straight. When you put your elbows on, you always wanna make sure you're lapping your elbows properly. Think about how the water is gonna flow. You wouldn't want this one feeding into that one or else, because water can get in between there. So you always wanna overlap them with a shingling effect so that water will not flow out, but flow down. So we have our header on there like that. I always try to get my first pipe strap right where the pipe is gonna lap, just to make it look more seamless. It's gonna cover that seam. So mark it on both sides. Grab your drill. I always like to drill a, a pre-drill them. And you grab your pipe strap. I always cut a little bit off one corner just to give me a sliver. And I'll stick that sliver in the hole. Works as a shim, tightens it up. And you'll wanna fasten that on. I just use trough screws. Hex screw makes it easy. Put your header back up. Mark where your pipe will end. Then you'll measure the difference all the way to the ground. So measure that. We have 114 and a half, and I always subtract 13 or 13 and a half from final grade. That'll bring your elbow at a nice height. So if we have 114 and a half, we can just go 101. So we'll cut this again at 101. Now to get your elbow on the bottom of your pipe, I use needle nose pliers and just crimp it like that. They make a tool to crimp the elbows, but I always have these pliers in my pouch and it just reduces the amount of tools I need to carry and that gives you a nice crimp and it's really easy to slide your elbow on that. It's always nice if you can get your strap to overlap the seam, but we're not able to do that just because these stones are really hard. You can't really drill into that. So we'll go on the last mortar joint, which is right there. Mark it out again. Do the same thing as we did before. Pre-drill it. Add that little sliver. I always cut my sliver from the side that's getting covered, just so it doesn't look funky. For your bottom elbow, you wanna just attach it with two screws, just one on each side. Just do that now while I have access to it. Same thing, right over left. The wall is pretty round, these bricks are very uneven, so it makes it a little tricky, but. And there you have it. We'll add an extension to that, but that's just about it.
Now you guys know how to install a single story downspout.